Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to E4. I'm your lovely host, Galvin. So, looks like we're going to be going to war with the very least Parthia. We're probably also going to smack, uh, smack up, you know, uh, which one is this? Gassanids, just for making them concede defeat. Parthia should be pretty easy. Uh, we're definitely getting a new guy. Because I know he's not going to last long. Then wouldn't that give me, like, prestige here? Nah, prestige would be too useful. Yeah, uh, I think we just go with Raman, God of Blitzkrieg. He did pretty well. The billions of lots. Alright. So. I should be able to just allocate 10 to go beat up the Gassinids, and that should be okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the problem. We apparently refuse to import food. Which is a global plus two revolt risk. Damn. I didn't realize. It's okay, though. It'll last for a few years. I think we've managed to subvert the Jewish revolt enough, though. It will no longer be an issue. Okay. So, let's start with our attack on Parthia. Damascus, easy target. <clears throat> so let's start with that. Like I said, I don't think we're taking anything this war. Uh, I'm pretty certain I am completely and entirely against conquest. But I am looking for humiliate, which I believe I can do, because they are my rival. Treaty. Is it humiliate? Humiliate. Parthia will be humiliated. Oh, that doesn't actually... Oh, it's just power projection. Aww. Can I humiliate and at least make them concede defeat? No. Well, what's good for... Like, what, what can I do here that's, like, worth it for... Prestige. Revoking cores looks alright. Yeah, 53% for revoke a bunch of cores on everybody. That gets me 20 prestige. Yeah, it's only 53% piece uh, deal, so... Seems like the way to go. Okay, Parthia is making their play. Apparently, no. But a moment too late. Or early. That's a strange pattern. What the hell is going on here? Okay, that's what's going on. Okay. I'm not going to go to war with uh, the Gassanids just yet. I'm just going to... I don't know how many guys I'm going to need here, because Parthia can apparently muster a decent size army. Parthia is strongest second only to me. So, yeah. I suppose I need to just be kind of cautious. Not overtly. But, you know. Apparently, they managed to fuck me up. What the fuck? Is this shit? Uh, so yeah, it turns out Parthia, they might be a massive issue. Good news, uh, I do have 20,000 reserves, but I can't get my reserves because Byzantium sunk my transport fleet. Alright. We're gonna need a new transport fleet, everybody. Forgot about that. I should have rebuilt that at some point. Now I'm paying the price. I just kind of forgot that I lost my transport fleet a while ago. I mean, yeah, we're not even going to win that. Yeah, they managed to stagger their fucking occupation that badly. Or this, their incoming army that much. That they actually won. I didn't realize that that was going to be such a big problem. I mean, I'm not actually worried about losing, because if I can get my reserves over here, then it shouldn't be a problem at all. 
It's basically, can I hold out for a year until I can bring in an extra 20? Okay, that's disgusting. You even have a navy already. Um, no, I'll lose 100 diplomatic power. Okay, so their whole army is now stacking in here. Good. This time, with their, them having absolutely no staggering, means I think I can do this. Okay, good. And... Our offensive continues. As I assume they're heading for Baghdad. Yeah, let's let's not. I just wanted intel to make sure that's where they were headed. All right, the fleet is about 60 days out from completion, so hopefully it won't be too hard for us to get through this. Okay, so despite our initial struggle against the Parthians, it looks like we're starting to get our hold here. Unfortunately, we're not going to worth the gas in it, but, just, you know, whatever. We're trying here. It's... Apparently, I still have a bit of a merchant fleet left. Good to know. Alright. Get our troops in position here. Alright, looks like it's a dog pile, which is kind of advantageous, also simultaneously really annoying. Do I need them in? Okay, now we need them in. Let's get our last one ready. Don't need to. Excellent. Alright, we march on Baghdad now. Baghdad Parthia is only fort. War is hard on everybody. Okay, so apparently this is their only fort. Yeah, that knocks up the war score a fair margin. Suddenly looking a lot more likely that we'll manage to make peace in a relatively short manner. Okay. So, thanks to the AI no longer luckily using correct tactics, we can move through the Tigris River Valley and start occupying everything. Apparently not. That's not good. Okay, good. All of our forces are still at the ready. Um, get in position to aid as the enemy arrives. You in there now. You get in a position there. Alright, our goal here is to trap them at El Quatif if possible. Now, it looks like they decided to head north instead to some fucking where, I don't know. Can. I think they have access through Byzantium. Yeah, well, Khwarazim does, which gives them access anyway. Either way, push south. We're getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, screw it, Kuzistan. You head south there. You head there. You head there. 53 for 19.2 prestige. Deal. That was up to 62 prestige. Good. And efficient administration. Alright. So, now, we need to get over back over here so we can just smack around the gas and it's a good chunk. Uh, yeah. 
Virgil Unrest, Judea, Gaza, and Acre, of course. Well, Acre, still not a big issue. Most of it just war exhaustion because we just blew everything we had fighting the Parthians for prestige. Wasn't even a real reason to go to war with Parthia. We just wanted to beat them up for prestige. <laughs> Perfectly legit reason. Now, let's do about as much as possible here to humiliate the enemy. Shouldn't take more than a single group, maybe a second group to speed things up. Uh, otherwise, it shouldn't matter much. Yeah. So, I'm more interested in is, is there a way we can get, you know, any more than 10 prestige out of them? Does not look like it, so. 10 prestige, we walk away. Putting it up to 71. Not bad. The Council of Rhodes. Met in the Council of Rhodes in this country between the teaching of Audius. The Council agreed that Jesus Christ and God declared the Aryan idea that Jesus was being created was heretical. Oh boy. Well, we know what that means. Arianism, everybody! Alright. Well, we didn't even need the reinforcements from Europe, but it's probably a good idea to have those at the ready. Alright. So, is there anyone else I can potentially beat up for a really quick prestige here? Yes, yes there is. So, if I can get Funj to concede defeat, hopefully... We'll be okay. And should just get just enough. Is, is there any prestige policy by chance? Nah, that'd be too much for it, for it to ask for, huh? Frankia liking us. How much could we have that arranged? It's within the realm of possibility. Why not? Um... Willing to do whatever it takes to get some prestige here and there, right? Pretty much just a whore at this point for it. Oh yeah, right. I never did figure it, think that through. It's like, how am I going to get access to them? I, I never really did think about that, now did I? Oh well. Gotta be. Yeah, because I'm pretty certain Egypt is not gonna. Could go to war with Egypt again. Still out of Byzantium. Which will mainly be the thing that takes forever to get rid of. Uh, no, we'll just. We'll just not. We'll just get a new bureaucratic candidate. That's fine. Hmm. Importing food to combat famine. No, we're just going to keep uh, refusing to import food. I'm okay with that. We're keeping it all suppressed pretty well. With Acre being the only major issue at 4%. Hmm. Yeah. See, this is why I've been trying to keep the uh, those guys at bay. Good. Early naval tactics. That means we actually theoretically stand a chance against Byzantium now. Not sure if I'm really willing to try. Who knows if Osrene breaks free? Might stand a chance. Nebadia. We lose truce with you in a bit. That's another possible 10 prestige. So, Nebadia plus 5 from Francia. That's enough. I'm even assuming that takes a couple of years. The decay isn't quite that bad. Should be possible. There we are. We'll try and claim five prestige from that as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't know what we'll take yet for a god. We'll just leave that. We don't need the bonuses yet. There's got to be a way to just get a little more. Uh, no, not to activate technology reform, to upgrade the government. We need 75 prestige. I'm really just trying to get up there. 
Sunflower Prestige is really hard to get, though. Well, you know what? If we send 20 dudes to sit in fucking Judea. Alright. Go, go, go sit in Acre. Problem solved. your problem. Still separatism, because, yeah, you were occupied by the rebels, weren't you? Alright. Our statesman. Eh, yeah, that's fine. I'm tempted to pick up a yearly prestige guy. It wouldn't actually get me more prestige, so much as it would just prevent decay. Alright. Manpower reserves need to recover... Conquer... I can't even pretend I can read that. <laughs> Vrijagar... Yeah, I, I figured it was in Frisia. It's like, hmm, that's something I can't read. Where would I probably find it? Oh yeah, probably the Dutch. Yep. Almost as bad as the Welsh. Either way. Alright, so I'm hoping we manage to buy ourselves at least a little time here. Because immediately after, we might be able to get another 10 prestige from there. That was demand privileges. Oh, hell no. I'll take this order. Fuck you. I think we're still going to need Ramon then for this plan. There's got to be... I don't know. I'm trying to think. Uh, I'm not sure if I can. Uh, just hitting 75 prestige turns out to be really hard. Uh, Carthagen's 330. Yeah, because I guess that was still a pretty chunky thing, even though if I didn't take anything. Trade dispute against Byzantium. Is that so? Well, I'm not going to use a trade dispute cost spoolie. That'd be a bad idea. Ooh, administrative innovations. Excellent. Yeah, I enabled client states really early, because I figured I might end up actually needing them, but as it turns out, I can't use them, so whatever. Uh, because you can only create European client states, for one, and two, I can't create a client state if it's overseas. So the regions at which I can actually create a client state are basically... <laughs> So, it turns out, entirely useless. And I can't do that anyway, because the patch reversed my changes. My pat the patch reversed all of the changes I made, unfortunately. So, Tunis is Tunis instead of Carthage. We have still Carthage or Italica, because I customly renamed that, but unfortunately we don't have the Roman names. I'll have to get on fixing that and uh, setting that up again. So, yeah. Not enough minor states on our borders. Just farm. Seven. If I can... Can I get it before the end of the year? Yeah, I think so. Unfortunately, I'll have to... Uh, have to get a claim on them. Okay. So we're not going to get it before the end of the year, are we? No, so the, the, the decay will knock us below 64. So when does this truce expire? 326. Is that going to be enough? No, we need another war from somewhere. I need another war somewhere. And I think it's got to be Egypt. It's got to be, right? It's the only place I can think of. We call a diplomat. Unless we can get a mission or something that'll give us something. But no, there's nothing. It gives us hard prestige. Which is what we need. Hmm. I'm doing my best, though. 
Heights. As it turns out, it's really hard to get up there. Oh, oh wait, we're still at 65? Holy shit. Yes. All I have to do is ensure that this this is done before the end of uh before before the end of this year. Which I'll have like six months. Okay. Or this could just happen. Sure, why not? <laughs> I, the game is just like, alright, you got me. Fine. You you can just have it now. I will gain twenty five prestige. Oh my, how useful. M. I pronounce the Carthaginian Great Republic. We are an empire, boys! Hip hip hurrah! Hip hip hurrah! Hip hip hurrah! Alright, that's gonna be a good way to end today's episode. Ah, uh, thank you everybody for watching. This has been your lovely, lovely host, Galvin, signing off.